King of Wands is here. So this King of Wands is somebody that, you know, I'm, I just was hearing like watching. So this person could be paying attention to you. Somebody that's, you know, a King of Wands. This person could be somebody that's in a relationship too. King of Wands could be in a relationship with somebody. And um, they're watching you. So this could be somebody that's in a relationship. And um, they've been watching you and they want to come towards you. This also could be someone that's very goal-oriented, very talented, somebody that's very intuitive as well. And um, they have a lot of passion to, you know, go towards whatever it is they want out of life, and they've been watching you in some type of way. Could be online, could be, you know, y'all could stay in the same area, and um, Nine of Cups is here. They've been watching you as wish fulfillment. But yeah, I don't know why, you know, that came out. This person could have been in a relationship or they were in a relationship. And um, they have been watching you as wish fulfillment. Two of Swords is here. This person could have been, you know, in a, a situationship is what I'm hearing. And they were blinded from the truth. So whoever they were in a relationship with... They were at the Two of Swords blinded from the truth and they wanted to try to blind you from the truth. They didn't want you to know they were in a relationship with that person. They possibly didn't even want this person to know whoever they were in a relationship with that they were watching you as wish fulfillment. Yeah, the Sun card is here. A lot of stuff came out though that got exposed. So it's like whoever, as this Two of Swords is here, this person possibly didn't want you to know that they were watching you as well. And um, they got exposed. Yeah. They got exposed that um, they were watching you as wish fulfillment. And that made somebody mad. Whoever this person was that, that they were in a relationship with is somebody that's very cold. Queen of Swords is here. This is somebody that they already was stepping out on. They had not cut this person off, was in the process of cutting this person off. This is somebody that was stepping outside of their relationship, King of so King of Wands. And they were cutting this person off. This is somebody that was very cold to them. But they wanted to keep that person blinded to the fact that they were watching you as wish fulfillment. But this person knew. Yeah, that got exposed. The lovers is here. This person knew that you and this person, you know, have mutual love for each other. Yeah, the emperor is here. And then the lovers. So it's like they knew this person was your divine counterpart. They knew you and this person were like soulmates. They knew this. Were twins. Twin flames. They knew that y'all shared the same, you know, soul. And um, they knew that this person would cut them off, but did they, you know, possibly act like they didn't know. They possibly were just trying to play it cool. And this person was acting like they weren't watching you as wish fulfillment, but this queen of swords, whoever this cold person that they knew. Yeah, the chariot is here. They knew this person would be moving forward in life or moving forward towards, you know. They knew this person would be moving forward and taking control of their own life or um, leaving the situation after gaining truth and clarity. So this person is somebody that was, you know, at the two of swords, blinded, playing with stuff they know nothing about. They were trying to blind this person from, you know, the truth about something, too, as this person was trying to blind them to the fact that they were watching you. This person was trying to blind them to the fact that they were sitting back, you know, at the Nine of Cups. <laughs> placing, yeah, the moon card is here. Playing with spell work. And placing, you know, different stuff in their cup. Yeah, they wanted that person to be blinded to that. They didn't want them to know. Eight of Pentacles is here. This person could have worked with this person, with this Eight of Pentacles. 
They could have started off working with this person or doing something with this person. And they didn't know as long as they started, you know, working with this person or met this person, they were doing spell work over them to keep them at the Seven of Cups confused or keep them as one of their options. So they had your person as an option in, you know, their life. Yeah, judgment in the reverse. They didn't think that they would ever be judged for whatever they were doing in secret with the spell work. They didn't think they would be judged for it. They didn't, they didn't expect to receive this bad karma with this judgment in the reverse. Yeah, then we have Ace of Pentacles here. They thought that they were going to give, you know, by playing with spell work, they were going to get this person to give them something, gift them something. Ace of Pentacles. They would get, you know, some type of new venture in life or new, you know, they could have tried, wanted to work, have this person work with them to start something, thinking that they were going to start a new business or something. And they ended up going through bad judgment, bad karma, judgment in the reverse. Uh, they were sitting at the two of swords, blinded from the truth, trying to blind this person from the truth, but they knew. It's like this person was sitting back trying to hide the fact that they were watching you, wish fulfillment, wanting to come towards you. Whoever they were with was trying to blind them to the fact that they were playing with spell work over them to keep them attached to them, and they knew that y'all were soulmates. And they were sitting back trying to create blockers so this person couldn't come towards you. They knew this person would get on the chariot after gaining truth and clarity. Yeah, Queen of Wands is here. They knew this person was attracted to you. They knew this person was, you know, had passion for you. You could have had passion for this person as well, but you're someone that's a Queen of Wands. You're standing up. I'm hearing they wanted this person to be attracted to them, but this person was already cutting them off. They were already not giving them no attention. They were already, you know, in this energy of Queen of Swords. They were very cold to your person, and um, they thought they would keep this person at the King of Wands energy. And um, have this person having passion for them or empathy or something like that. But it's like this person was looking at you as wish fulfillment. And this person was in the process of cutting whoever this Queen of Swords off. And um, they both were trying to keep each other blind from the truth. I just keep hearing that. But um, you could have had a lot of passion for this person as well. They knew that y'all were divine counterparts. And you're someone that's very confident with the skin that you walk in. So you were more, you know, focused on your goals, focused on using your intuition, focused on, you know, your spirituality and moving towards whatever it is you want out of life. You started leading your own life or you were too focused on leading your own life. You were attracting a lot of attention as well. And um, this person was sitting back, you know, thought that they would get this person to be attracted to them. Like how this person was watching you and attracted to you. Yeah, Queen of Cups. They knew that you had genuine love for this person, Queen of Cups. They knew that you cared about this person. And this person was um, somebody that was very cold. I know why I keep getting that. But yeah, this person looked at you as a queen of cups. So they, this is somebody that had love for you. You had love for this person and then you were um, attracted to this person or you had passion for this person. Yeah, justice is here. And then six of wands. So you're having victory. Whatever, you know, happened to you that was injustice, you're having victory. You're, you know, coming out successful, coming out on top. You're someone that was, you know, being held in high honor, getting a lot of attention. Something happened to you that was injustice with this justice card popping out. And um, as you're getting justice, this whoever did whatever they did to you. And they wanted to have people blinded from the truth. They're going through bad karma. They're getting ready to experience bad karma. And they possibly don't even know. Yeah, five of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. They're out in the cold on that knowledge. They don't know that. Yeah. 
This person is physically, mentally, and spiritually out in the cold. They don't know the knowledge about anything. They don't even know how energy works. This person walk off of confusion. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune is here. This was destined to happen. So whatever happened to you, these people were destined, you know, it was destined for them to try to play in your energy so they can get karma for whatever they did to you. You have a destiny, you have a person, a purpose, you have good luck and longevity, good fortune. Yeah, Eight of Cups is here. You chose to walk away from all toxicity. You're not in a confused mindset. It's like these people are at the Seven of Cups as you're at the Eight of Cups, walking away from, you know, whatever confused mindset they thought you were in, you were, you know, not in a confused mindset. You just view life on a different level than what normal people, you know, in the everyday matrix view their life or view things around them. You, you know, you don't. You're someone that's very intuitive. You use your intuition. You have a strong intuition. Yeah, tower is here. A lot of people are sitting back dealing with an overflow of bad choices because they sit back at the five of wands. Trying to copy you, trying to compete with you. And these are people that's at the five of pentacles, out in the cold, physically, mentally, and spiritually. Not even, a, you know, attached to their soul. Being at the five of pentacles, your ancestors haven't left you out in the cold. You don't even have an intuition. And these people were, you know, people that walk in devil energy. They were at the five of one secretly competing with you, secretly trying to copy you and one up you. And they're sitting back going through bad karma and going through tower moments that they wanted you to go through. It didn't work. <laughs> no, it didn't work. Ace of Wands in the reverse. They could not take action towards you to try to make you, you know, go through a tower moment. It just went back to them. Whatever action they wanted to take. It manifested in their life and caused a tower for them. They're going through this conflict, this five of wands. They're getting ready to experience bad karma. And it's going to come at the seven of swords in a sneaky, deceptive way. Yeah. Page of swords is here. It's like they were watching you, expecting you to be at this two of wands, not knowing which way to go. But you're on the chariot. It's like you've moved forward. They were just watching you and they were at this two of wands not knowing which way to go. As you're at the ten of cups, your ultimate happiness. <laughs> yeah. Knight of swords. I was just going to say a lot of people are mad. Knight of swords pop clean out. People are upset and angry that you're happy. And they're angry. It's like they're stuck in their own energy and you're walking in your energy. That they wanted to be at the five of wands with. So they only sent conflict to their self. And they don't get that. Being a fool. Fool card on the bottom of the deck. Page of Cups is here. A lot of people could want to apologize to you. But it's like. You're, you're not. You're on the chariot. <laughs> Yeah, Ten of Pentacles is here. A lot of people could want to apologize to you, but you're sitting in your Ten of Pentacles. You, you're too focused on creating generational wealth. You're too focused on building a legacy and the empire, stuff that you're supposed to be doing. So you're not even paying attention to any of these people that, yeah, High Priestess is here. You're not worried about any of that. It's like they wanted to keep all of this hidden, High Priestess. Now they're sitting back at the five of cups embarrassed, ashamed, and regret only because they're receiving bad karma. That's it. If you were someone that was low vibrational in it, you know, it worked, then they wouldn't have been, you know, in regret. But you're someone that's the total opposite. They couldn't project their energy off onto you. They could not play in your energy. It's like each time they played in your energy, you got gifted and they, you know, ended up slipping their self in the reverse. Yeah, Six of Swords is here. It's like you were divinely guided to sail away by your ancestors. You like, you're gone. You're not even around these people. And it's like, when I say not even around these people, you don't be around people for one, but you're physically, mentally, and spiritually stable. 
So it's like as they're at the five of swords or five of wands, walking in devil energy, you're gone. You're not even around these people. That's why none of this action that they tried to take towards you, it didn't work. You were already gone. Your energy is not even around these people. Yeah, three of wands is here. You made a decision and you know what you want out of life. You made a decision a long time ago, way before they made a decision to come towards you and it was not successful. They just ended up getting bad karma. Yeah, they ended up getting stuck. Eight of swords, binding and blinding to the devil for death that's old. For everything that they did wrong, it's like they're, they're stuck in a self-made prison in their head. And they wanted you to be in this eight of swords, stuck in some type of situation. They made a decision to do it. And it's like now they're at this eight of swords, feeling stuck. Everything they wanted for you, it didn't work. So it's just like, yeah, they're only in regret because they're, they realize that they've been standing at a two of wands watching you move forward in life with this chariot. Yeah, and be happy, ten of cups. And they've just been watching you do that and they realizing that they have been at this two of wands, not knowing which way to go. That's just sad. <laughs> yeah, and feeling stuck. King of Cups is here. And four of pentacles. So somebody, this person, whoever this king of wands is, is somebody that have love for you. And they're, you know, trying to hold on to your energy. Four of Pentacles is here. As I said, this, you know, this is someone that was in a relationship with someone that they were, you know, in the process of. They weren't even attached to this person like that. It's like. They were already moving forward from this relationship. But it's like before they left, they didn't know why they were still there. They were blinded from the truth, trying to cover up that they were watching you as wish fulfillment. And this emperor card popped out. It's like they didn't know they needed to get their energy back before they left and move forward because this person still was in their energy or playing in their energy. They didn't know this person was playing with spell work. If they did know, they didn't think the person was playing with spell work over them. And even if you knew, it's like, if you know somebody is doing something like that, who will even want to be around a person like that? But yeah, this person is sitting back realizing that they're in love with you and they're trying to hold on to your energy. Five of Swords is here. And Two of Pentacles. Yeah. They were trying to hold on to your energy while somebody else was trying to hold on to their energy. And as that person, whoever this person is that was at the Five of Swords, jealous, envious, and um, hating. Because they knew that y'all were, you know, twins, but they didn't want that person to know. That person knew too. Whoever your twin is, they knew. And um, they didn't want that person to know. They knew this person would be at the Five of Swords envious jealous because they're you know a queen of swords so they knew this person would be at this five of swords determined to try to have them at the two of pentacles some type of way with, with no finances yeah um but i'm hearing this person was determined as they knew this person was watching you and trying to hold on to you this person was determined whoever they were attached to to keep them at this two of pentacles juggling between thoughts and finance trying to figure this out Wanted to try to hold on to this person because they knew that they were in love with you. And they wanted your person to, you know, try to go back and transfer energy. Thought they would try to harvest and feast on your energy. And they knew they could, you know, do it to your person. But they thought they were going to be able to do it to you. And they thought your person would, go be, would be able to come between you and become between them. And, you know, have sex with them. And it didn't work. This person is somebody that played with spell work, you know, like doing, trying to do energy transfer and stuff like that. Or they can transfer their energy in different ways. 
and your person possibly didn't know how much this person was off into that. And the goal was to try to get this person to be at the two of pentacles. Going back and forth between two places or two things to try to harvest on your energy, to try to drain your energy, to keep this, your person attached to them. It didn't work. You weren't even attached to this person. This person was watching you trying to hold on to you and they couldn't even come towards you because they were too busy dealing with this bad karma judgment in the reverse as they were attached to this person. Yeah, the empress is here. You're somebody that's the empress. You, you were sitting back manifesting whatever it is you want out of life, taking care of your kids and standing up and having control of your own energy and building up your empire, sitting in your ten of pentacles. And this is what was going on behind the scenes. Your person had to, you know, was in a relationship or some type of situation with an energy vampire and a reptilian. And um, they thought that they were going to come toward, have this person come towards you. And they were acting like they were blinded from the truth. They didn't know what was going on. And your person didn't even know what was going on. They were too busy watching you instead of watching what was going on around them. As this person was playing with spell work over them for a long time. Could have been eight years with this eight of pentacles. And that's how long they had to be working on this person, which is your person. And they thought that they would, you know, have your person come towards you, have sex with you. And um, this could have been an open relationship. Have sex with you and um, drain your energy that way. And then they would drain your person. It did not work. You're someone that can read energy with this Empress card. Yeah, three of cups in the reverse. This person possibly wanted to have a threesome with you with your you and your person, and that didn't work. This person thought they would sit back and get you in a lustful energy, whoever this person is, this energy vampire and a reptilian. Harmony card. This here, you had to ghost at the whole situation, your person and, and whatever energy that they were in, because you can read energy. You went with them to investigate, and um, you was just like, uh-uh. You already knew something was not right. Yeah, in the past, six of cups is here. You already knew something was not right, and you laid that situation to rest. You could have knew that this person was playing with spell work. You could have told your person, like, hey, this person is playing with spell work, and your person didn't believe you. So you kind of just, you know, all of a sudden, you weren't even connected with this person. Three of cups in the reverse. It was because of the person that they were attached to that was an energy vampire and a reptilian. Your ancestors divinely got to shoot to sail away and lay and isolate, going solitude, getting enlightened. Because that person could have tried. you As you were connected with your person, that person energy was on your person. And they, you know, could have tried to place their energy some type of way around you to get you in a, a lustful energy to have a threesome with them. And it did not work. Three of cups in the reverse. Your person is attached to an energy vampire and a reptilian. And they tried to come and harvest and feast on empress energy, divine energy, and it did not work. Yeah, King of Swords is here. <laughs> yeah, King of Swords is here. It's like you had to cut this person off, spoke the truth to them, and you move forward. Like, you cut this person off, and they no longer serve purpose in your life. It's like you spoke the truth to this person and cut them off. Like, they had the nerve. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The, your person could have cut this person off as well. I didn't realize this person was playing with spell work over them. Yeah, behind the scenes, three of pentacles and pages. <laughs> yeah, three of pentacles and page of pentacles. They realized that this person was behind the scenes getting readers. They could have got behind the scenes and got a reading, your person. Um, this person was blinded from the shoot. They were too busy playing with spell work or whatever they be doing. And um, or however they do it, and they, you know, found out that this person through a reading that this person was placing stuff in their cup and in their food. They got behind the scenes and got a, a reading. As this person was behind the scenes, you know, getting readings on y'all and playing with spell work. Yeah, to try to keep this person at the nine of wands. And this lustful, <laughs> I think this person is like they wanted to get this person in a nine of wands energy. And this person wasn't even really having sex with them. But once they seen they was watching you as wish fulfillment, now they wanted to get this person back to having sex with them. Night of Wands. It's like this person had to find the truth by Ace of Swords Clarity. Yeah. Oh, they were at the Three of Swords Heartbroke, depressed. When they found out this person was the devil. 
that's somebody that's blinded to a lot of bad karmic debt, obsessions, addictions, bound to toxicity, and um, they just you know realize as they were attached to that person, they were keeping them stuck chained to the devil. They didn't know. Yeah, Ten of Swords is here. They had to realize that they were under a curse and a hex. And they were, you know, had been backstabbed multiple times by that person. Stuff that they didn't even know. This person was trying to keep them pent down for harsh, painful endings. Plan with spell work. Yeah, the musician is here. <clears throat> and Nine of Wands, yeah. They were doing this over and over again. The Magician and Ten of Swords and Nine of Wands. They did this over and over again. The Devil, this is spell work. The Devil in the Magician card, this is spell work. And then we got Ten of Swords and Nine of Wands. So it's like they did this over and over again to try to keep this person pinned down at the Ten of Swords, cursed and hex. For harsh, painful injuries. As your person didn't, you know, know much about spirituality. They, um, or they could have knew about it, but they didn't believe that this person was doing it to them. So they were kind of like blinded from the truth. They didn't know. But when they found out they were at the Three of Swords, depressed and heart broke. Because they have been knowing that person for a long time. As long as they have been knowing that person, that person hadn't been working on them. And they didn't know. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. Could have been seven years. Um, this person was doing this to get this person to invest in them. Eight of Wands and the Strength card is here. So, yeah, this person had to gain their strength back before they can come towards you. In order for them to come towards you, this person had to get back in their own energy. They couldn't come around you in that person's energy. They had to get their self together, stand up and take control of their energy and um, gain, gain their strength back before they can eight of wands come towards you with any type of communication, any type of, you know, movement towards you. They needed to get that person up out of their energy. Yeah, because this person was only keeping them stuck in a hangman position. And they only felt stuck around that person. And they didn't know this person had them placed them in some type of spider web or something like that to have them stuck. They needed to be stuck so they can get enlightened because they didn't, as you know, they were blinded from the truth this whole time that this person was working on them. They didn't know. And that's why this person was so cold to them. This person felt like that they hadn't got this person off spell work. They got this person right where they want this person. They don't really have to show this person no affection, no emotions, or have sex with them. They were just playing with spell work to get what they wanted up out of this person as this person was watching you as wish fulfillment. Just so happened this person started watching you, that intimidated that person because the spell work was no longer working. 